Hi guys, to tackle real numbers efficiently, we need to know some operations on these numbers. So today's our topic is operations on real numbers that will cover the following contents. But in this video, we will cover first two contents. The other contents will capture in the next video. When we perform such operations, we prefer to have finite digits after decimal place, but it is not always possible. So the key idea is that every real number can be approximated to any desired precision of rational numbers. Let's start how to determine the opposite value, reciprocal value and absolute value of real numbers. Firstly, we learn to simplify the opposite value of real numbers. Two numbers that have same distance from zero on real line but on opposite side of each other are called opposites. For example, 4 and minus 4 are opposite of each other as both have same distance from zero but actually lie opposite direction of each other. Similarly, minus 3 over 2 and 3 over 2 are also opposites of each other. It means to find the opposite a number, we simply change the sign of that number. For example, the opposite of minus 4.6 is 4.6. Whereas, to get reciprocal value of a real number, we simply divide 1 by that number. Like, the reciprocal of 2 is 1 divided by 2. Similarly, the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is 4 over 3, 1 over 8 is 8 and the reciprocal of minus 4 is actually minus 1 over 4. Where, the absolute value of real number means how far a number from 0. Notice on real line where 4 is 4 points away from 0 and minus 4 is also 4 points away from 0 that means the absolute value of 4 and minus 4 is 4 that's symbolically written like that and read as absolute value of given number is that number now let's make a quick look on general difference among these three operations opposite value change the sign of given number a number and its reciprocal has same sign and absolute value of non-zero number is always positive. Now your job is to answer the exercise questions in the comments. Now we learn how to add and subtract real numbers. Addition represent an increase in quantity the result of an addition is called sum or total and the numbers being added are called addends whereas subtraction is the reverse operation of addition the result of subtraction is called difference the number being subtracted is called subtracted and from which a number is to be subtracted is called manuent Addition and subtraction can be visualized on real line. To do so, for addition, we first locate addend on real line and move right side to our desired number of addends. And for subtraction, we start to locate manual first on real line and move left side to desired number of subtractant. Basically, it is inconvenient to draw a real number line for each time to add and subtract real numbers. Therefore, we make some rules. To add a positive number or subtract a negative number is addition. And adding a negative number or subtracting a positive number is subtraction. So, when we simplify the same sign of real numbers, we make addition. In this way, we first add the absolute value of given addends and then apply the common sign. For example, when we simplify 10 and 66, 
we found both have same sign. So we first find the absolute value of given addends and then apply the common sign. Similarly in the next example. When we simplify different signs, we make subtraction. In subtraction, we first find the absolute value of given numbers, then subtract smaller absolute value from larger absolute value and apply the sign of number having larger absolute value in the question. If we simplify the example A, we found that two numbers have different signs. So it is a case of subtraction and simplify like that. We first find the absolute value of these two numbers and then subtract smaller absolute value from larger absolute value but apply the sign that have larger absolute value in the question. When we switch to example B, we found that there are more than two observations. To simplify such expression, we first make pair of two observations from left to right and apply the operation according to the given sign. The result of first pair, we make another pair to the next observation and the process is continued till the end. When we simplify, we first find the absolute value of given numbers, then apply the sign of larger absolute value and subtract smaller absolute value from larger absolute value. The result of first pair is minus 5. Now we make an other pair with next observation. So the plus 10 has larger absolute value than minus 5. So we apply the sign of plus. Hence we find that final result is plus 5. Now your job is to answer these questions in the comments.